Also a reminder on this day as well, Suzanne, of what they are fighting for. There was an attack in eastern Afghanistan. Tell us about that. Well, you're right, because there's a certain sense of anxiety, anticipation, what to expect today, if there was going to be any kind of retaliation. Well, it happened on the eve of September 11th. It was just last night, about 5.30 local time. Uh, we are told uh, it, it happened about 60 miles west of where we are. It was a combat outpost, a, a truck bomb that exploded. Two Afghan civilians were killed. There were a lot of injuries, TJ. You're talking about 77 uh, from the International Coalition, about 25 Afghan civilians, mostly minor injuries, but nevertheless, a lot of people involved in this. We had an opportunity this morning to talk to General John Allen. He is the head of the U.S. and NATO mission here in Afghanistan. It was an exclusive interview, and he told us what he believes this attack means and also the threat, the mission that is taking place here in Afghanistan. I think it really indicates much more about what the Taliban are unable to do than what they're able to do. This attack was a high-profile attack. It was a pretty significant uh, suicide vehicle bomb. Uh, but they have been ejected from the population in so many places around the country uh, that their only ability to influence uh, the battlefield in many cases, on many occasions is simply the high-profile attack. And, T.J., uh, the general also acknowledged that, look, this is a long fight, it is a long haul, uh, that there are still threats around the world, uh, that uh, the Taliban, if they're going to try to get to Americans or others, that there are ways that they can do that. So they are still very much in the fight. The main goal now here is to try to get the Afghans up to speed, to make sure that they can have their own security, provide and protect their own people. Uh, that, by the end of 2014, that is the goal when U.S. and NATO combat troops come home. But General Allen also said, look, we're going to be in this for the long haul. You're going to have a huge civilian effort. There are going to be trainers here. There's going to be military here for years and years to come to make sure that this country is stable, that the Taliban and al-Qaeda uh, do not uh, gain power again and use this country as a safe haven, uh, and that there will be other hotspots in other places that the U.S. military is going to be critical.